section 11.4, circumference and arc length. For these next two sections, both 11.4 and 11.5, we're going to be looking at circles exclusively. So make sure that you're really comfortable with your circles and that you know how to find circumference and area for circles in general. In 11.4, we're focusing on circumference. So recall that the circumference is the distance around a circle where circumference is 2 pi r, where r is the radius, and we say that pi is approximately 3.14. The arc length is a portion of the circle circumference, which it can be measured in degrees, while its length is measured in linear units. So we do want to make sure we remember that circumference is 2 pi r, or we can say pi times d, where d is the diameter. Then this is what we notice. Whatever angle this is here, that tells us what fraction of the circle we're working with. For example, if this is 40 degrees, then we're working with 40 out of 360 possible degrees. So we could reduce that and realize that we are working with, let's see, we know that reduces to 4 over 36, which is actually going to be about one-ninth of a circle. If we're working with one-ninth of a circle, then we have that one-ninth of the circumference. So all we need to do is figure out what the circumference is and just take one-ninth of it. Well, this leads us to these general formulas. We notice that the degrees of the arc to the degrees of the whole circle, this tells us what fraction of a circle we're working with. That ratio equals the length of the arc compared to the length of the whole circle. A shorter way to write that is that the measure of arc AC over 360 equals the length of arc AC over 2 pi r, which is your circumference. And we'll get an example right now so that this will make sense. Okay, we want to find the indicated measures for each circle. In this first one, we're going to find the measure of arc JK, given the angle JHK is 60 degrees, and the radius of the circle is 8 centimeters. You'll then go on to this one. Circum we are looking for the circumference of circle A, where the angle CAB is 40 degrees, and the met arc length CB is 4.19 inches. And then lastly, you're going to find the measure of arc RS. Oh, not RS. Let's look for the measure of arc FG. And this is in degrees. That's why it's the measure of the arc, not the length of the arc. If you see that little M, we're looking for degrees. So we're looking for the measure of arc FG when you know that the length of that arc is 44 meters and the radius of the circle is 15.28 meters. So try these on your own first and resume the video when you're ready to check your solutions.